Okay, so now it's time to hit a ball. How do you do it? Well, let me ask you a question. How do you hit a baseball or a softball with a bat or a tennis ball with a racket? Those balls are moving, sometimes pretty fast, and yet you somehow still make contact. Well, a golf ball is just sitting there. It doesn't move unless you move it. So remember that it isn't that hard to make solid contact. Where most beginners struggle is they aren't trying to hit the ball. They're trying to get it airborne. They contort their bodies and their arms when they swing in effort to help the ball get into the sky. It's a bad move. The clubs are designed to get the ball in the air. All you have to do is make contact with the ball somewhere on the face of the club and it'll probably fly because of the way the club's designed. So, if you're just starting out, focus on making contact and let the club do the rest of the work. Think of the golf swing a lot like the movement of the arm of an old grandfather clock. The club moves back and through on a consistent path. If you swing the club with a consistent back and through motion, you'll have success hitting good shots. By the way, this tip works great with a putter too. Just swing your arms back and forth like a pendulum. Tick, tock, hold a putt. Another tip, relax. Relax your hands and your arms and make a nice, easy swing. If you squeeze the club too hard or swing too fast, you'll make it a lot more difficult to make solid contact. Start by making a slow, relaxed swing. Don't be jerky. Take your time swinging the club back away from the ball and take your time swinging the club down into the ball. Last piece of advice, continue your swing after the ball has been struck. Why does that matter? The continuation of the swing makes the ball go farther, higher, and straighter. If you think of tennis, the racket keeps moving after the ball has been hit. It's the same with baseball with the hitter. Um, it should look something like this. Easy peasy.